A young girl sits alone in her room. She begins to read a book. The book is called Roll of Thunder. Hear my cry. It tells the story of a girl named Cassie Logan. Cassie lives in the United States during the 1930s. Her family faces many challenges because of their skin color. The young girl is curious about Cassie's story. Cassie and her family are African Americans. Life is very difficult for them because of racism. People treat them poorly because of their skin color. The laws are unfair. Cassie's family must stay strong to survive. The young girl reading the book feels sad for Cassie and her family. The young girl doesn't know much about this history. She lives in the 1970s, and things have changed, but not completely. People are supposed to be treated equally, but there are still problems. The young girl starts to understand that life is still unfair for many people. The young girl lives in a small town where there are no black people. She is white and doesn't have any black friends. She starts to think about what it would be like if people treated her badly because of how she looks. She realizes it would be painful. When she finishes the book, she is crying. She feels sad for Cassie and angry at the unfairness. She promises herself that she will never judge someone because of their appearance. The book changes how she thinks. It makes her want to be kinder to others. The feeling the young girl has is called empathy. Empathy means understanding someone else's feelings. There are two kinds of empathy. Empathy helps us connect with others. It makes us want to care for each other and help each other. The first kind of empathy is when we feel the same way as someone else. For example, if a friend is sad, we might feel sad too. We feel their pain and want to comfort them. This kind of empathy helps us support each other. The second kind of empathy is called cognitive empathy. It happens when we try to understand another person's feelings, even if we are not feeling the same way. It is what happens when we read a story and imagine the character's life. There is an old saying, Take a walk in someone else's shoes. It means trying to imagine living another person's life. When we do this, we understand them better. We see why they feel the way they do. This is empathy. Scientists think empathy might involve special brain cells called mirror neurons. These neurons work when we watch other people. If we see someone smile, we feel happy too. If we see someone sad, we understand their sadness. Mirror neurons help us connect with each other. They help us feel what others feel. When we see someone laugh, we want to laugh too. It helps us build friendships and relationships. It helps us feel close to others. Empathy is very important. It makes us want to help each other. Without empathy, people wouldn't care about each other. We wouldn't help those in need. Empathy is what makes us human. It makes us want to make the world a better place. Barack Obama, the former president of the United States, talked about empathy. He said that empathy helps us see beyond ourselves. It helps us care about people we don't even know. It makes us want to help those who are struggling. For example, if we see a child who is hungry, empathy makes us want to help. It doesn't matter if we know the child. We feel their pain and want to make it better. 
Empathy makes us act with kindness and compassion. Most people have empathy, but we can learn to be even more empathetic. It takes practice. It takes effort to understand others, especially if their lives are different from ours. Empathy grows when we listen and try to understand each other. Meeting people who are different from us can help us learn empathy, but it's not always possible to meet everyone. That is why reading is so important. Reading lets us see life through someone else's eyes. The young girl reading Roll of Thunder, Hear My Cry, doesn't know any African Americans. But the book helps her understand what life is like for them. She feels Cassie's fears and hopes. She understands how unfair life was for Cassie. Cassie Logan is not a real person, but her story feels real. The book helps the young girl understand what it means to be treated unfairly. It changes how she sees the world. It makes her want to treat others with kindness and respect. David Kidd is a psychologist. He studies how reading affects people. In 2012, he did a study to show that reading can increase empathy. He found that people who read fiction are better at understanding other people's feelings. Kid asked people to read different types of books. Some were fiction stories, while others were not. The people who read fiction were better able to understand the emotions of others. Fiction helps us practice empathy. Keith Oatley is another psychologist. He also studies empathy and reading. He says that reading helps us imagine being someone else. It helps us understand what it's like to live a different life. Empathy helps us understand others and work together. It helps us solve problems. When we understand how others feel, we can work together to make things better. Empathy makes our communities stronger. Scientists believe that complex stories are best for building empathy. These stories focus on the thoughts and feelings of characters. They help us see inside the character's mind and understand their emotions. Books are powerful tools for learning empathy. Through books, Readers have explored new places and lives. They have learned to understand how others think and feel. Books help us connect with others, even people we may never meet. Books help us travel to new worlds. They help us see life from different points of view. We learn to understand feelings that are different from our own. We learn that everyone has struggles, hopes, and dreams. Have you ever read a book that changed the way you see the world? Maybe it made you understand someone better. Books can change us. They can make us more understanding and caring people. Empathy helps us feel less alone. When we understand others, we feel connected to them. We realize that our feelings are shared by others. We are not alone in our struggles. Empathy connects us to others. Reading also helps us learn language. We learn new words and phrases. We learn how to express emotions. Reading is a fun way to learn while also growing our empathy. When you read, try to understand the characters. Think about what they are feeling and why they feel that way. This will help you grow your empathy. It will make you a more caring person. Empathy is not just about being kind. It is about understanding people. It helps us live better together. 
It helps us make our communities stronger and more caring. The young girl learned about empathy by reading a book. You can do the same. Books are powerful. They help us learn about others. They help us grow. They teach us to care. The more we read, the more we understand others. And the more we understand, the better our world becomes. Empathy can change the world. It can make our world a kinder place. If you want to learn empathy, start reading. Choose books that tell stories about different people. Imagine their lives and their feelings. Let the stories change the way you see the world. Empathy is like a muscle. The more we use it, the stronger it becomes. Reading helps us make that muscle stronger. It makes us better at caring for others. Through reading, we learn to love and understand. We learn to see beyond ourselves. We learn to see the world through someone else's eyes. We become more connected to the people around us. So find a book and start reading. Let it take you to new places. Let it show you new experiences. Let it teach you to understand others. After you read, think about how it made you feel. Think about the people in the story. What did they go through? How did it change them? Let those feelings change you too. Reading helps us understand ourselves and others. It makes us better people. It helps us grow. It makes our world a better place, one story at a time. Empathy helps us feel connected, even to people we have never met. It reminds us that everyone has emotions, struggles, and dreams. When we read, we grow our understanding of others and make the world a better place. Every story we read shapes who we are. Books have a unique power. They can take us on journeys to faraway places. They can help us understand people who live lives completely different from our own. They help us see that everyone, no matter where they are from, has feelings, hopes, and dreams. The next time you read a story, Try to put yourself in the character's shoes. Think about what it would be like to live their life. Let yourself feel their happiness, sadness, and fears. Let their story teach you empathy. Empathy can change the world. When we understand others, we become kinder. We become better friends, better neighbors, and better people. We can make the world a better place one book and one act of kindness at a time.